Hey guys, welcome to the class. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you're doing really well. We're going to do a 60 minute vinyasa flow, so um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, welcome also to Clockwork Courtyard, beautiful space down in South East London, Camberwell. Um, I have a playlist for the class which I have posted below. Um, please feel free to use that. It's Mr. Collie Man on Spotify. Uh, the playlist is called In Movement We Trust. Um, a lot of great tunes on there, a lot of songs that I love. Love listening to them not only during yoga classes but also elsewhere. So I hope you enjoy. Um, please feel free to ask any questions, give me a shout, any feedback, make a, make a comment in the section below if you, if you would like to. Um, the great thing about practicing at home is that you can take your own time, you know, feel free to pause, go back, try and do things over and over, etc. That's the beauty of doing things at home on a recorded class. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, chair pose transitions today. So a lot of balancing from your chair and then using the chair pose as like the main place where we kind of start a bit of a flow. Um, so yeah, we're going to channel some strength in the quads and we're going to test the balance too. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll start the class in a seated position. So take your time getting there. Maybe make sure you've got a window open or grab some water. And then get comfortable. So you want to think about Maybe crossing your legs, relaxing your hands down onto the, into your lap or interlock fingers, place hands on knees, whatever feels good for you, and then softly close the eyes. Take a moment just to roll the shoulders or wiggle the jaw. Maybe you need to wiggle the, the position of the bum. Make sure in a comfortable place. And you want to think about a balance between finding a weight in your sitting bones, but then also trying to keep the chest up relatively high, lengthen the spine, you want the crown of the head to be high as well, and then relax the shoulders with the eyes closed. Just take your time to enjoy a bit of stillness before you get moving. Take your time to transition from whatever you were doing previously into the next 50, 60 minutes of movement. So you want to make sure you're in the right kind of place mentally. If your head feels at all a little bit scattered or if you're thinking about what you've been previously doing or think about something later on, let's make an effort to bring the attention into the present moment. And you can start to do that by paying close attention to your breath. So the next inhale, see if you can track the entire breathing cycle. Keep your attention locked in and into it until the breath ends. Take a full inhale, follow the breath all the way into the body. And then take a full exhale, follow the breath all the way out. Notice the belly, the lower ribs, try and push those areas out as you inhale. And then you can squeeze them back in towards the spine as you exhale. Just tapping in slowly into a, uh, a breath that uses the diaphragm. So you want to think about if you're breathing into your chest or your upper body, just see if you can take the next inhale a little bit further in. In this position of stillness, you can start to activate your, um, your rest and digest part of the nervous system. Just calming the body down with a slow breath. And just making sure you feel nice and grounded physically and mentally before you get moving. You may use this time just to have a little check in with the like how the entirety of your body feels physically, what's going on today. Maybe as you mentally scan through your body, you can pick out certain areas that might need <clears throat> a little bit of TLC or a little bit of extra attention. So 
three or four more breaths. Keep them slow, keep them long. With each exhale, just feel your attention kind of soaking into the body. And then let's bring some movement in with the breathing. So on the next inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears. And then as you exhale, drop them back down. A couple more times, inhale, scrunch them up. Feel free to sigh out the mouth as you exhale and drop them back down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, round them back down. Now see if you can sit, stay sitting on the bum, bring the knees in towards each other and we're going to start to balance on the bum, taking hands onto the backs of the knees. A little bit of core work, early doors guys, we're going to fire it up. So you can draw the chest towards the thighs, make sure the crown of the head is high. Try not to crash down into the lower back. Now, feel free to take any kind of variation you want. You can sweep the knees up so the shins are parallel to the mat. You could release your arms. Or you could straighten your legs, pointing your toes. Whichever option you have, again, just notice the lower back. Try and keep the chest high. We'll be here for five. And for four, squeeze your thighs together. And for three, engage core. You got this, guys. And for two, active fingertips, active toes. And for one, gently lower the feet back onto the mat. Wrap the arms around the legs, maybe hug it in, chin to knees, dome the back. And then very slowly uncurl yourself down onto your back. Keep the feet where they are for now. Sweep your hands down by your sides. Preparing yourself for your bridge pose. Edge your, finger, your feet towards your bum. Almost so your fingers can tickle the heels. Let's bring the feet together, the knees together, and then get a bit of core engagement going by squeezing the obliques. You can feel the back rooting down to the ground. Maybe squeeze the bum as well. And try and keep those two areas engaged as you rise up. So hips go high. Chest is open, squeeze thighs together, and don't forget to breathe. Slowly lower yourself down. Bridge pose variation number two, sweep the arms behind you. Arms are kind of shoulder width. Again, you can squeeze the core, you can squeeze the bum, and then find strength in the feet to raise Rise your uh, chest. You want to be thinking about pushing the heart almost beyond your face. And then go down with care, take your time. Third and final variation of your bridge, hands down by your sides. Again, think of the core, the bum, the glutes. Raise it up. And then you can think of maybe rolling your shoulders, interlocking your fingers underneath the back. From there, you may even want to come onto the tiptoes of your feet. Again, just notice thighs, knees, draw them in. Take it further still, right knee to chest, right leg straightens. Same thing on the other side. Try and give the left leg similar attention, similar strength. And then lower yourself down, take care. Bring the knees to the chest, and let's start to roll forwards and backwards along the spine. And we'll head towards our all fours. So head there however you want to. I'm going to cross my legs, place my hands down in front of me, and then step back. Shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees. Let's bring some movement into it, circles. Big ones, small ones, quick ones, or slow ones. Maybe figure of eight. Maybe close the eyes and move the head and the neck. Maybe bend your elbows so the body moves up and down as well as side to side. Go wherever you want to go. 
Child's pose might feel good. Chest open, pushing hips forwards. Maybe some attention to the hands and the wrists. Give them a decent warm up. Give them a flex. Get the blood flow going, shaking them out. Don't forget about your feet as well. Give the ankles a turn. You can spread the toes, give the feet a shake, maybe tap the mat. And then make your way slowly towards your downward dog. So toes on the mat, raise the knees, suck in the tummy. You want the hips to go high and you want the head to go low. And maybe just continue to move. So you want to pedal the feet. One knee is bent, the other leg is straight. Change side and give the other leg a decent stretch out. Maybe give the shoulders a roll. You can shake the head out. Left, right, forwards and backwards. Take one leg up to the ceiling. Open out your hips by bending the knee. Maybe pointing the knee to the ceiling. Give the ankle a turn. Do the same thing with the other leg. And then from here guys, find some stillness in your downward dog. Let's spread the fingers really wide. Arms want to be shoulder width, feet can be hip width. Try and let the head feel kind of heavy and relax your face. Take a long inhale and a long exhale. And on the next breath in, come onto the tiptoes of your feet. Breathe out, bend the knees and step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift, hands go to shins, back is flat. Exhale, forward fold, head go down. Inhale, rise up, arms come above the uh, head, gaze up towards your fingers. And then exhale, forward fold straight away, hinging your, your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower the hands, step or jump back to your plank, making sure to kick both of your heels away from you. Squeeze the bum. Push with the hands so the back is domed. And then let's drop the knees, the chest, the chin, all the way down to the mat. Find a baby cobra. You can raise the hands, raise the chest, squeeze the bum. And then push on back to your down dog. Take your time. Same movement again, tiptoes at the feet, bend the knees, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, hands to shins, crown of the head goes long. Forward fold, head goes down. Inhale, rise up, find strength in your feet. Gaze up towards the hands. And then exhale, forward fold. Try and flatten the back as you go down. Let's find that halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hands. Step or jump back to your plank. Kick your heels away. Squeeze the bum. And let's drop the knees, the chest, the chin. All the way down. This time a slightly bigger cobra, push with the hands. You want to raise the chest up, nice juicy bend in the back, and then take it back to your down dog at your own pace. Third sun salutation type movement, tiptoes of the feet, bend the knees, step or jump to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, back is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Feel the sides of the body reaching to the ceiling. And then exhale, hands to prayer. Forward fold. Breathe into a halfway lift. Breathe out, drop the hands. Step or jump back to your plank. This time see if you can keep the knees in the air. Lower your chest to elbow height. Push forwards. Come onto the tops of your feet. Chest is open. And you can push back from there. Think chin to chest. Suck in the tummy. And then roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Take a moment to think of your alignment in your downward dog. Spread fingers, feet hip width. And then come onto the tiptoes of the feet, bend the knees, step or jump to the front. This time, finding your chair pose. Feet together, knees together. Bend them and raise the arms. Chest is high. 
Bum is low. Imagine that imaginary chair. You want to think about little fingers turning in towards each other. Maybe gaze up towards them. And then breathe out and forward fold. Step or jump back to your plank. A vinyasa. Chest goes down to elbow height. Push forwards. A little squeeze of the bum. Helps support your uh, lower back. And then again, chin to chest. Suck in the tummy. Hips go high. Head goes low. Downward facing dog. Take a moment. Nice long inhale. Nice long exhale. Very slowly raise your right leg up to the ceiling. Keep the leg straight by kicking your heel away from you. Point toes to the ground. And gaze forward, step in between your hands. Let's drop the left knee down. Inhale to raise the arms above the head, low lunge. Gaze up towards the fingers, and then sweep the hands down straight away. Left foot's going to step forwards, join the right foot. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Find strength in your feet. And then exhale, forward fold. Cut yourself in half. Hinge at the hips. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, drop the hands. Step back with the right foot. Drop the right knee. Breath in. Raise the arms up. And then breath out. Sweep the hands down. We're going to take it to a three-legged dog. Left leg sweeps all the way back. Kick your heel away from you and then bend your knee, pointing the left knee to the ceiling. From here, notice your right shoulder and try not to dump down into it. Let's take a slow step outside the left hand and then raise the left arm for a twist, gazing up towards the left hand. Hold it for a moment, make sure your hips are square to the mat. And then lower your left hand and step back to your plank, where you can take a vinyasa. Exhale as you go down. Inhale, push forwards. Relax the shoulders. And then exhale, suck in the tummy. All the way back to your downward dog. Left leg goes high. Gaze forward, step in between your hands. Drop the right knee. Breathe in to raise the arms. And breathe out to sweep them down. Step forwards, right foot joins the left, breath in, halfway lift, breath out, forward fold. Notice your feet, rise up, fingertips go high, exhale, hinge at your hips. Find your halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, step the left foot back, drop the left knee, breathe in, raise the arms, breathe out, sweep them down. Right leg, take it all the way back. Bend your knee, kick the heel to the bum. You want to point your right knee to the ceiling and find that kind of nice opening in your hips. And then step outside right hand. Let's raise the right arm for the twist. Keep your left knee really drawing up to the ceiling. And you want to tuck the right knee in towards your chest. Slowly lower right hand, step back to your plank, vinyasa, elbows dig into the ribs as you go down, push forwards, support the back, squeeze the bum, and then push back, downward facing dog. Take a moment. Check in with how you are doing. Relax the head down low, and soften your face. Relax the brow. Take a long inhale and a long exhale. Next breath in, tiptoes of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the front of the mat. Find your chair pose, bringing the feet together, the knees together. Again, think about weight of the body into the heels of your feet. Let's bring the hands to prayer. We'll take a little twist from here. So right elbow, sweep it outside the left knee. Take your time getting into it. Have a look down at your knees and make sure your right knee is not sweeping round. There's a tendency for it to curl round. You want to draw the 
the right sitting bone back. Gaze down at the feet. Now if you want to take it a little bit further, you could open your arms, right hand down outside left foot or left hand high, or you could think about placing the weight of your body into your left foot, and then coming onto the toes of the right foot so the right heel comes off the ground. Take it further still, right heel could be squeezed up towards the bum, coming into your flamingo pose. Don't forget to breathe. Wherever you are, gently drop the hand, drop the foot, and then take a step back with your right foot, probably two or three steps. Now you want to point both your toes towards the front of the mat. You want to think about your hips being really square. We'll take it to our pyramid from here, which you are in. So you want to think about maybe taking a little bit further, engaging your core by sweeping the arms behind you, bringing your chest kind of parallel to the mat. Think about back and neck being long. Notice legs, perhaps take a soft bend in the knees and engage your muscles rather than locking out your legs. Take it a little bit further by swinging your right arm, or both of your arms, sorry, forwards. Again, try and keep the upper body parallel to the mat. And then we'll bring the hands to prayer, and then find our warrior three from here. So weight of the body is going to come onto the left foot. You can sweep your right arm behind you, your right leg, sorry. So you can kick your right heel all the way to the back. Notice right toes pointing to the ground. And then notice chest. Try and open it out towards the front. Don't forget to breathe. Maybe extend your arms if you want an extra challenge. And then very slowly lower the hands and then sweep your right foot forwards, coming into a standing forward fold. Now feel free to shake the legs out, give them a little loosen. And then very slowly uncurl the body. We're going to come to a standing pose. Take a breath in to raise the arms above the head. As you exhale, hands to prayer, stay in your standing position. And we're going to place the weight of the body all into the right foot and bring the left foot up towards the right thigh. So you want to think about creating a figure of four shape with your legs. Flex left foot. Feel free to uh, stay here. Or take a little bit further, guys. To start to bend the right knee. Test the balance. Notice uh, what happens with the gaze. You want to try and lock it into that one spot in front of you. You may want to press your hands together really hard. It kind of brings the, the focus into the middle. Helps center the focus. And then when you are as low as you can go, maybe take it further by extending arms out in front of you. You think palms facing the ceiling. Fingertips reach long. Hips and bum go way long behind you. Breathe. Now let's come back up very slowly to our standing pose. Try and keep the left foot in the air and take a very slow step back with the left foot to the back of the mat. Once you're there, bend your right knee, warrior two. Sweep your arms wide. Gaze over right hand, flip the palm, lean forwards, reach back. Reversing your warrior, left hand, left thigh. Deep lunge into your right knee, look up to the right hand, and then exhale to uh, cartwheel your arms down to the mat. Step back to your plank as softly as you can. Take an exhale to hover down. Inhale, push forwards, open out the chest. And then exhale, push on back, downward facing dog. Inhale, tiptoes to the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the front. Find your chair pose. Think of your alignment, squeeze the thighs together. Biceps might hug the ears. Little fingers turn in towards each other. Tailbone is lengthening down to the ground. Let's take the hands to prayer. Find your twist on the other side this time. So left elbow, take it outside the right knee. You want to think of stacking your elbows. Again, a little look down at your knees, your feet. Make sure they're behaving. Could open out the arms. 
left hand down, right hand up. Or feel free to play with your flamingo on this side. So weight of the body into the right foot. Left knee bends. Maybe you're just taking it onto the toes of the left foot. Maybe you just bring the heel off the ground for now. Or maybe squeeze the heel to the bum. Embrace the wobbles. Maybe looking down at your foot might help with balance. And then again, just take your time. Try and drop the hands and the foot with control. And then step back with control. Pyramid pose. Left foot goes back. Both feet pointing forwards. Make sure your hips are square. So you may need to drive the right hip, the right sitting bone back, and the left hip forwards. Bring the chest up, parallel to the ground. Sweep your arms behind you. Again, just kind of be conscious of the legs. Notice the knees, try not to lock them out. Let's keep the uh, entirety of the body where it is, but sweep the arms forwards. You want to try and engage the core, squeeze the glutes. And then bring your hands to prayer. Warrior three. Where the body comes onto right foot. Now just notice the hips. If they're suddenly opening out to the left, you want to think of driving the left hip down. Again, point toes to the ground. Maybe extend your arms. Breathe. And then nice smooth transition, sweep the left foot forwards, it's going to meet the right foot, shake it out if you need to. Again, let your hands, your shoulders and your head feel heavy as you slowly uncurl. We'll come up, standing pose. A nice full breath in to rise, lift your arms, lift the sides of your upper body. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Then we'll find that figure of four, bringing the, uh, the right foot, lift it off the ground, take it onto the left thigh. You want to flex the foot, it's going to help, and then maybe take it down. So you're bending the left knee, bum goes low. Again, notice the roll of the hands. You may find it just want to stay there, press them together real hard. Or you may take it further, extend them. Take them long, don't forget to breathe. So imagine I'm grabbing your fingertips, I'm pulling you out in front of you, at the same time I'm grabbing your hips and pulling you behind. Let's come back up slowly, think of the transitions being just as important as the poses themselves, and then you can take a step back slowly and softly. Right foot touches the ground, sweep your arms wide warrior two. Relax shoulders, left knee above left ankle. Let's flip the palm, we're gonna reach nice and long, and then reverse it. Right hand, right thigh. Deep lunge into left knee, perhaps a straight left arm, and then cartwheel your arms down to the ground from there. Step back, plank. Take your vinyasa, lower the chest as you exhale. Open the chest as you inhale. And then suck in the tummy as you exhale. Downward facing dog. Take your time to pedal the feet out. Maybe try and find some space in your downward dog by taking the left hand towards your right leg. See if you can grab hold of the uh, outside of the right shin or ankle or knee. You can even look up towards your right armpit to increase the twist. Same thing on the other side, spread the fingers of the standing hand. Let's grab hold of the opposite leg. Think of hugging chest into thigh. Come back to your downward dog. Spread your fingers, bum and hips are high, head is low. Back and neck is long. Take a long inhale and a long exhale. Again, tiptoes of the feet, bend the knees. Step or jump to the front, chair pose. Sweep the thighs together. 
Big biceps hugging ears. Breathe. Let's come to our prayer pose. Find the twist. So right elbow outside the uh, left knee. Again, option to uh, open the arms out. Option to play around with your flamingo. Weight of the body goes into left foot. Right heel comes off the ground. Right heel goes towards the bum. Gaze down towards your feet. Breathe. We'll do this three or four times, so hopefully you can kind of notice any differences in each time you do it. And then slowly drop the uh, right foot and the hands. And then take a step back with your right foot, pyramid pose. Straight into our hands to prayer. Prepare yourself for your warrior three. So the weight of the body comes onto left foot. Square your hips out. Again, notice your chest. If you are kind of forward folding down to the ground, try and open it out to the front of the room. Breathe. Try and keep the right foot in the air. Sweep the right leg forwards, and then bring your right knee towards your chest. Take hold of the right knee. Grab hold of the outside of the right knee with the left hand. And then extend your right arm out to the right. Feel free to stay here. Or take it a little bit further and take the gaze over towards your right hand. Test the balance. Keep the right foot nice and flexed. Again, holding it there. Keep the right foot in the air. Let's bring the hands to prayer and slide the right foot outside the left leg. So just slotting it down the left side. You may want to go for the double wrap. So the right foot can go all the way around to the uh, inside of the left leg. So the right foot is over the left leg. Let's take the right arm underneath the left arm. Again, go for the one wrap or the double wrap. So you've got backs and hands together or maybe palms together. Think about elbows lifted. Left knee is bent so the bum goes low. Breathe. Eagle arms. Eagle pose. Let's release the legs. Take a very slow step back with the right foot. Maybe enjoy a warrior three with eagle arms, if you've got it. And then step back softly. Right foot touches the ground. Sweep your arms wide, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Raise the arms. Give it some nice release. Exhale, bend the knee, warrior two. Let's take the left elbow onto the left thigh. Sweep the right arm forwards, side angle pose. Any variation that you would like. Left hand down. Maybe look up towards your right hand. Breathe. And then slowly lower the right hand, press it down next to your left foot. Come onto the toes of the back foot and then raise the left arm for the twist. You can look up to left hand. You can think of a strong back leg, kick heel away from you. Belly button edging towards left thigh. And then gently lower the left hand. Let's take a step back to our plank. Slower, softer the better. Exhale as you hover your chest down. Full inhale, chest opens. Come onto the tops of your feet. And then full exhale, chin to chest. Suck in the tummy, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Take a moment. Find some release. Maybe an inhale through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Try and push the front half of your mat away from you with your hands. Push the bottom half of the mat away from you with your feet. Think of doing that in equal measure. Nice long inhale and a nice long exhale. Next breath in, tiptoes of the feet, bend the knees, step or jump to the front. Find your chair pose, bum goes low, chest goes high, hands to prayer. Let's find our twist, left elbow. Outside the right knee. Again, any option that feels good for you. Maybe you're staying here. 
Maybe your arms are open. Or maybe you're playing around with your flamingo. Fourth and final time. Weight of the body into the right foot. Left heel comes up. Stay there. Or maybe left heel squeezes into bum. Think of your gaze. Think of your breathing. And then gently lower. Both left foot. Lower the hands. Left foot can step back into your uh, pyramid. Let's square the hips out. Just notice how this feels in the legs. And then bring your hands to prayer. Let's step on through. Warrior three. Final time. Again, just think of your hips being square to the ground. You want to think about your chest and your left thigh being parallel to the mat. And then sweep it forwards. Notice gaze. Bring the left knee. Take it high. Flex left foot. And then take hold of the outside of the left knee with your right hand. And you can sweep your left arm out to the left. Try and stand tall. Maybe a cheeky glance over to your left hand. Again, think about embracing the wobbles. Try not to uh, get annoyed, irritated. Try and enjoy it. And then maybe test it further by looking to the left hand. Now let's find the strength. Bring the hands to come back to prayer. And then let's slot the left foot outside the right leg. Maybe you've got the double wrap if you've got the space. And then with the left leg over the right leg, we want to bring the left arm underneath the right arm. Elbows come together. Backs of the hands come together. We'll go for the double wrap there as you come into your eagle. Squeeze it in. You want to take an inhale to, to lift the elbows up. And then an exhale to sink into your hips couple of times, you're going to be feeling it in the right leg, channel the strength, release the left leg, keep it behind you, maybe enjoy a warrior three with eagle arms, and then step back softly and lightly, warrior two, awesome guys, sweep the arms wide, warrior two, let's raise the arms, straighten the right leg, find some relief, and then head back into it. Think about shoulders stacking on top of hips. Right elbow is going to take it onto the right thigh. You sweep the left arm forwards. Side angle pose. Any variation you want. Think of that nice kind of deep stretch down the entire uh, left side of the body. So the right hand might go down to deepen. Think about the left foot. Try and uh, press down quite hard on the little toe. Maybe a cheeky glance up to your left hand. Breathe. Let's find our twist from here. Left hand goes down, come onto the toes of the back foot. Raise the right arm. Tuck right knee into chest. Little kick of the left heel away from you. Try not to lock out your left elbow. And then gently lower the right hand. Step back to your plank. We've got a final vinyasa. Chest lowers to elbow height. Push forwards, full inhale, try and relax the shoulders, and then full exhale, chin to chest, suck in the tummy, roll over the toes. Take a moment guys, let's drop our knees, let's find our child's pose. Knees can be wide, knees can be straight, whatever feels good for you, have a little shuffle around, have a move around, see which which kind of position feels good for you. Maybe use your hands as a pillow. Or maybe just extend arms out in front of you and relax the forehead onto the ground. Close the eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth. Take a moment here, notice any sensations that might be kind of washing over you. Use this position of stillness to tune back into the breathing. You want to keep it slow and long. 
maybe even extend your exhale <clears throat> a little bit longer than your inhale. Again, thinking of using your diaphragm, just tap, tapping back into your uh, parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest, calm things down, real slow breath, use the nose, feel the belly button expanding as you inhale, feel the belly button drawing back into the spine as you exhale. Challenging stuff guys, let your body catch up. When you are ready to move on, let's come back up. We're going to head to our all fours. We're going to raise the knees off the mat. Downward facing dog. Gently tiptoe your way forwards towards your hands. So you want to come into your standing forward fold. Bend your knees quite a lot. Let's drop the chest onto the thighs. Let's drop the forehead down. Take a rag doll by grabbing the... Um, Opposite elbows, take a swing. Maybe you prefer to drop the hands down and brush the mat with your fingertips. Or you could also find a bit of relief for your shoulders here. Interlocking fingers behind the back. Let the arms go high. And let the head go low. Should feel pretty good, take a swing. Maybe a little shake of the head, relax the jaw. And then lowering your hands, let's slide the hands underneath the feet. So you want to lift the right foot, sole of the foot comes up, slide the right hand under. Lift the left sole, slide the left hand under. Now if you want to get the full benefit from the pose, you want the the toes all the way up towards your wrists. Give your hands a decent squeeze, massage, shuffle them around. It should feel pretty good post downward dog. Um, if you want to take it a bit further, don't feel like you have to, you place the palms down so you're standing on the backs of your hands. So it's quite a deep pose. Take your time with it. Have a play around. Whichever position you're in, you can take an inhale to raise the chest, lengthen out the back, exhale forward fold, head goes deep. A couple of times. And then release your uh, hands with control. Let's shuffle the feet really wide, maybe wider than your mat. Point your toes out to the sides, bend your knees, lower the bum into your yogi squat, your malasana. You can think of dropping the bum and the hips down low, but then raising the chest and the back and the neck are nice and straight. Feel free to use your hands if you want to support. Uh, you can bring the hands to prayer. Maybe open up the legs, elbows, gently drawing them out. Should feel pretty good. Take your time. You want to strengthen your feet. Challenging pose if you're not used to it. A little bit of movement here, right hand down. Straighten out the right arm, decent connection between right shoulder and right thigh, twist to the left, open out the chest and gaze up towards the left arm. Same thing on the other side. Make the connection with the thigh and the uh, shoulder. Notice right knee if it starts to cave in, keep it active. And then as you gently lower, both hands come down and we'll make our way onto the mat from here guys, so you can gently Slowly lower the bum, take a seat, extend your arms, extend your legs out in front of you. Take some movement, have a little shuffle. Grab some water if you need some water. Give the legs a shake out. Probably feeling it in the quads. We'll give them some relief now. So from here guys, seated forward fold. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Reach long, grab your shins, grab your feet, whatever you need to grab. Think about crown of the head extending towards the uh, front of your feet. 
Now bend your knees quite a lot. If you feel it in the hamstrings, don't try and get the legs straight. You want to think about lengthening the upper body instead. So kind of flat back, flat neck. Close the eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let's come back up. We're going to sweep the left leg out towards the side. We'll bend the right knee and place the right foot into the left thigh. From here, take a shuffle. Try and face your uh, left leg so the torso is kind of square onto it. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, forward fold. Again, think of length. Maybe bend the knee if it helps. Some of you want, might want to take it further and grab one of the outside of the left foot with the right hand. Bring a little bit of a twist into it and twist over to the left. From here, you can slide left elbow inside left leg. Open out the chest, right arm goes wide. Notice the right knee. My tendency is for the knee to swing up quite a lot here. You want to try and keep it rooted down with the right arm wide. Bend the arm, to the arm up to the ceiling. And then just close. Now, if you're anything like me, your chest is suddenly going to want to kind of cave in and start to face the ground. So if you can, try not to take the right arm all the way. You want to keep the chest open, almost as though it's kind of facing the sky. Keep your shoulders stacked. Notice right sitting bone, right knee. Breathe. Now you've got the option of coming onto uh, the back of the, uh, the right hand behind you from here. A little back bend if you want to. Come onto the right shin, the right knee. Left foot is down. Reach your left arm long. Take it wherever you want to take it. Kind of into a kind of half wild thing. Chest is open. Enjoy it. Lower the bum. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So right leg is wide. Left foot. Let's bend the knee and place the foot inside it. Again, just take a little shuffle. Face your right leg. Breathe in to raise the arms. Breathe out forward fold. Close the eyes. Tune into how it feels. Maybe grab outside of the right foot with the left hand, twist to the right a little bit. And then slide right elbow inside right thigh. Let's open out. You want to think of really kind of uh, compartmentalizing the body a little bit here. So right, uh, left knee, sorry, wants to be rooted. Left sitting bone, root it down. And then chest is open. Extend the left arm wide. Take it high. And then just take it gradually over. Try and keep your uh, right toes active. You want to point them to the ceiling as you kick your heel. And you may just stay a third of the way down. You may go all the way. But wherever you are, just keep a check in with your chest, your shoulders. Breathe. Come back up. Left hand goes behind you. Let's bring the weight of the body onto the left knee and the left shin. Right foot is there for support. Open it out. Enjoy the pose. Chest is open. Fingers are wide. Relax the face. And then slowly sweep it back down. Bum goes down. You can straighten out your legs. Let's take one more forward fold. See if you can go a little bit deeper into it perhaps. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hinge at your hips. You may want to go deeper into it. You may notice that you can go deeper. Or you may want to just take it a little bit softer this time. Relax the feet, relax the forearms, relax the head. Let your head feel heavy and breathe into the back of the neck. Flex your feet, point toes to the ceiling, and we'll gently uncurl, we'll head all the way down onto our backs. Engage the core, transition, keep it, keep it controlled, and then lower yourself down, take a shuffle, get into a place that feels good for you. 
few more moves into the legs, guys. Hopefully, restorative uh, close to the class. Let's bring the left knee up. Take hold of the knee with both of your hands and squeeze the knee in towards your left armpit. You want to think about sweeping the left arm wide. Elbow touches down, and then we'll head into our supine twist. The right hand takes the knee over to the, to the right side. You might find that your left shoulder is kind of wanting to come over with the body. Try and refrain from doing that. Left arm stays touched on the ground, and then the knee goes just as far as it'll go. Little glance over to the left hand, close the eyes, take three or four deep breaths. Enjoy your exhales, take them slow. Try and bring a softness to the body as you breathe out. Come back to center, straighten out the left leg. Let's bring the right knee up. Again, hug it in, embrace it nice and high, and then take it into your twist. So maybe you can uh, shuffle the back of the shoulders if necessary. You can look over to the right hand. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, try not to rush it. Should feel pretty good after all that movement, so enjoy it. Don't lose track of your breathing. back to center, take care. Let's bring both knees up to the chest. You can grab hold of the insides of the, the thighs, start to open out the legs. We're going to take it to our happy baby. So you can think about drawing the knees out really wide, maybe get into it or get as wide as you can go first and then raise the feet. You want to think about grabbing inside of thighs or inside of feet. Some of you may want to grab hold of the big toes and straighten out one leg, bring it back in, straighten out the other. Maybe both legs go into Kimbo. Nice deep breath into it. You're going to be feeling something. Take your time. And then gently bring the knees back in and wrap your arms around your legs. Let's take one final embrace. <clears throat> so as you wrap your arms round, maybe hands grab the elbows, think forehead to knees, knees to forehead, flex your feet. Might be nice to take a gentle rock across the back, massage it out. And then before you head into your Shavasana pose, your final resting pose, let's take a moment just to appreciate the body. Hug it in, embrace, give yourself some warmth. Think about the amazing places that uh, the body has been in the last 50 or so minutes. Really challenging movements. So please do take the time to give your body a little nod. Maybe a little bit of gratitude to um, feeling grateful to be able to, uh, to, be able to, to move like this. Thank your healthy body. And then in your own time, let's sprawl the legs, sprawl the arms. Feel free to grab some water, feel free to grab a blanket. We'll be here for a couple of minutes. Just sprawl the eggs, sprawl the legs, sprawl the arms. Wiggle the jaw. Bit of movement in the, uh, the eye socket, the eyeball. And then just find some stillness. Find a place where you can keep your body still. Completely let go of the arms, let them sink into the ground. Completely let go of the legs. Soften the skin on the face. 
Maybe you want to unlock the jaw, soften the brow, the temples, and completely let go. Enjoy some stillness and enjoy a well deserved rest. Of course, feel free to stay however much longer that you want to. Otherwise, deepen the breath. Bring some movement into the fingers and the toes. Head and neck can move. Whatever feels good for you. Take the arms long for a full body stretch. Deep inhale, let it out through the mouth. Slowly make your way back to your seated position. Maybe roll on to one side. Use one hand to gently raise yourself back up. Find a place that feels comfortable for you. Let's just take one more moment of stillness, softly closing the eyes. Again, think about being rooted in the sitting bones. And then lifting the chest and the head, being fairly alert, close the eyes and scan through your body. Take the time to notice how you feel, take the time to notice any changes, any space inside. Notice the mind, any space there. Hopefully as you practice, as you move around the map, you can make space in those areas, make room for what really counts. One final breath in, raising the arms, and just sealing the practice, gently bowing to close. Namaste. Well done, guys. Awesome stuff. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a shout at Mr. Collie Man. Come check me out on Instagram. As I say, I'm at Mr. Collie Man on Spotify too, so please do check out the, the music and the playlists. Um, have a really good one, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, rest of the evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. And uh, take it easy. See you later.